today we are talking about henna. So we've already done introduction to the world of henna if you wanna go check that video out, but today we are actually hennaing some heads of hair so you can see how it's done. We are lucky enough to have four beautiful henna products here at Lush. Jacinta is gonna go for Marone, which is like a chestnut auburn, and then we've got Nicole who is gonna go for a fiery rouge. So I'm gonna show you how to make it, how to cut it up and set it up, melt it down. We're gonna henna those heads of hair, give you some few tips, and then we'll get to see the effects afterwards. So let's do it. So first let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you need. So you're gonna have your henna obviously, and in each one of these, it does have instructions for you. And of course your old pal Erica is gonna walk you through this. So what we need is our henna, check. You're gonna want a knife. You want some kind of double boiler or like a bain-marie kind of a thing. So I've just got a bowl within a bowl that's totally easy to do. And we're gonna put some hot water in that bottom bowl and then set this one in and then melt our henna down inside. Uh, and then to apply it, you really simple material. So you've got some gloves. Um, you might want like some kind of little coloring brush like this. This one's good because you can like part the hair. And then I would recommend some kind of barrier. Something like Ultra Balm is really good. Melt a little bit along your hairline, on your ears, maybe kind of on your neck. And what that's gonna do is gonna keep the henna from staining your skin. And of course you wanna be wearing old clothes or an apron or something like that. All right, so let me show you how to melt down a henna. A henna is, it's henna powder uh, and some other ingredients like clove bud oil or coffee grounds uh, built into a brick of cocoa butter. So to melt it down, you're gonna want something like a double boiler. So what I have is a bowl of hot, hot water, and I'm just gonna set another bowl on top. If you have a bain marie, like if you make fondue, <laughs> go for a fondue pot, that'd be awesome. So how do you do it? There's a lot of myths out there. It is actually quite simple to just like cut it into pretty big chunks and toss it in there and it will melt down. So I'm just gonna cut it into a few big chunks. It's not, I mean, it's not rocket science here. We're just chopping it up. Okay, so I'm putting it into the bowl. I've got hot, 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 hot water in this bottom bowl and then the henna is in this bowl. It's already starting to get a little, like I can feel the heat from that bottom bowl. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some hot, hot, hot water straight from the tea kettle and just start easy. You want it to be the consistency of kind of like brownie batter. So you just kind of be patient, let the water do the work like I said, and just let it start to melt down. So the henna is gonna keep soaking up the water. It's just gonna get like drier and drier the longer you let it hang out. So even once you've got it to the right consistency, I would recommend keeping a tea kettle going so that if it starts to get a little too thick on you, then you can add a little bit more water to get it to the right consistency. This is perfect. So I've got, like I said, like this kind of brownie batter consistency. There's still a few tiny lumps in there. You can probably see that, but it's no big deal. Like you can just totally work it out with your fingers as you're putting it on, but this is the consistency you're looking for. All right, let's do this. Alrighty, so we are ready to go and I brought a friend. Do you wanna introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Jacinta and I'm a training specialist at Lush. You for coming. This is a really healthy head of hair. If your hair is super, super slick and healthy like this, it might take up a little bit less color than if it has been processed before or if it's very, very long and has maybe like slightly drier ends. Um, so this is just gonna give like a really lovely like gloss of auburn color. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna apply that Ultra Balm. Ultra Balm is almost like our answer to Vaseline, but it is a very simple three ingredient. It's just simple vegetable waxes, and that is gonna provide a barrier on the skin so that it doesn't stain the skin. And just go right along the edge there. You don't wanna get it in the hair because you want the hair to take up the color, just not the skin. 
You can put this on in a variety of different ways. If you've got a buddy like me to help you out, that's nice and easy, but you can totally do this on yourself, I promise. Uh, but what I would recommend to do is probably go from like the top of the hair down to the bottom. And that way, as you're doing it, you could just kind of like slop this up in a bun and then just kind of keep adding to it and keep adding to it. It's just neater that way. And I would also recommend going kind of from the roots to the tips. Again, it's just neater, that's all it is. You can use a brush like this. You can also use your fingers. You can do both. Slop it in, let it sit, and then rinse it out. Okay, so you're just looking to saturate the hair. Make sure you've got it all the way to the tips. And then you can just kind of make a little bun like that and then just keep going, keep adding to it. All right, so I think we are done. I'm just kind of getting this like, I'm doing like a little spot check by just kind of like opening it up and double checking my work to see if there's any spots that maybe need a little extra hit. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let this sit for a couple of hours, and then we're just gonna wash it out with shampoo. Uh, you do wanna make sure you've got nice hot water because of all the cocoa butter in here. We do want that to melt down. Um, so you can use shampoo, of course, but just make sure you've got that hot water because that's really gonna do a lot of good to help remove this henna. Next up, we have somebody else to visit us. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Nicole. I'm with Facilities. I'm the Facility Coordinator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a little bit of Ultra Balm around your hairline and just like on your ears and on your neck just to make sure that any of that henna stain just goes on the hair and not on the skin. We are going to start at the roots and move our way out towards the tips. Because you were, had mentioned that you had done some processing a few months ago. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stick to just the roots mm -hmm. first, and then I'm gonna kind of come back and do all the ends, and that way it'll just get a little bit more time on the roots where the hair has had that break. The more porous the hair is, the more it's gonna take up the color. So we want to try to get, kind of like even it out a little bit by giving some more time to the root and a little less time to the end. I am totally not a hairdresser. I am your pal helping you do this. So I think it's good just to know that like, you don't have to be a professional. This is something that you're meant to be able to do at home and you will be all good to go. So you can see I'm like probably two thirds of the way done. You've got this nice little like- Dr. Seuss Cindy, I was gonna say Cindy <laughs> Lou Who kind of a thing going on. Oh my gosh. That's cute. Cold. I know, it's, I mean it's like a mud mask kind of. <laughs> so tonight when you go home, you're gonna just gonna wash it out, shampoo and conditioner like normal. Okay. You may find that you need to wash it two, maybe even three times. Just, just wash it until you feel nice and soft again and you don't have any like muddy feeling or any grit or anything like that. Thank you. Good to go. Thank you. Okay, so it's been about what, 30? Eight hours or something like that, maybe forty hours since About we 48. did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Great. You look beautiful. Your hair is really, really shiny. Thank you. It's a really subtle color. I think we kind of talked about that yeah. before we started out because your hair is virgin hair, has never had any kind of process or dye to it. So, and it's really, really almost just slick with with healthiness. <laughs> so we knew that it wasn't going to have a whole lot of places to to settle with its nooks mm. and crannies. But I think that it has given you had like a blue black sheen on your yeah. hair before and now you do have that really warm auburn sheen especially like up in like up in the crown part so do you think you're going to do it again yes absolutely i'd love to make this a little bit more bold mm -hmm. and see the color kind of pop a little bit more um how much more can i do it you can do it as really as often as you like, the more you use it, the more the color will build on itself and almost like provide more nooks and crannies for the next henna to settle into. So it just, it builds oh. almost like faster and faster. So I feel like this is like the so hair I had when I was in eighth grade. I keep touching it. So <laughs> Are you smelling it? I'm really, <laughs> no. Um, so I'm really, really glad that you came in and did this with us and like, and spent the day with us. And Thank it you. looks gorgeous and I can't wait to see it when you do it more. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. Okay, I'm super psyched about this. So it's been less than 24 hours. You look like such a rockin' badass babe. This looks so good. How do you feel? I feel like a 
million bucks. I like it a lot. Like this is definitely my attitude. What I really love about it is like, look, like zoom in on this. There's like the tone on tone color. The natural hair color is uh, naturally a little darker and then the ends were a little bit lighter. So it, when we did that tone on tone color that Henna gives, it actually gave it so much depth and fun. I don't, know, I don't even know what to say. I was kind of, I'm like a little bit speechless. It just looks really rad. Do you think you'll do it again? Yes, absolutely. Right. I'd love to see again. how how much this can build. Yeah, it yeah. definitely will. So for this, how long until I can start building? Like when can I do another application? After about six weeks, you're probably gonna want to do it again. But I would say if you want to like amp up the color, mm -hmm. you do it again really as soon as you want. It's kind of like all things with Lush is just like listen to your hair, listen to your skin. When you're like, I feel like I want to do a henna, that's the time. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's all there is to it. You saw how to melt it down, you saw how to slap it in. We didn't get to see how you rinse it out because that was private in their homes, but you got to see some before and after, so it's not scary at all. Give it a try. I hope you enjoy it. Let us know what you think about it.